everybody, how's it going? So um, today is just another day. Harrison and I are heading to my sister's house. We're gonna go hang out for a little bit. Um, my sister's little boy is just three weeks younger than Harrison, so having them hang out, maybe her little boy will teach Harrison how to crawl. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on how Harrison is doing. He's, well, as you know, I've been home with him for the past two and a half weeks since his surgery. Um, I took time off because um, he shouldn't be going back to, gay, to daycare um, until a certain point and I wanted to be home with him. So um, we got home four days after his surgery and then he was doing really well for the first couple days and then that's when we noticed that the uh, the differences in his sleep patterns started um, when he was in the hospital his um, his appetite was definitely decreased you know of course being in pain being on pain meds who wants to eat anything and so his appetite's been up and down ever since. Um, there are times where he'll drink eight ounces of um, a bottle at a time, and then there's other times that he won't even take four ounces. Um, and so it's kind of a hit and miss with him. He still eats, just not as much. I've noticed that he won't eat much during the day, but he hightails it a lot at night. And so right before bed and when he wakes up in the middle of the night, he drinks eight ounces plus. And so, which is perfectly fine, but I wish he would just eat a little bit more during the day because then that would mean he might be interested in eating more than just a bottle. That's another thing that I've noticed is he has his moments where he's interested in crackers or baby purees or anything like that. And then it changes and all he wants is just a bottle. Which, you know, is normal. He's always been like that. And so um, that's kind of stayed the same. It's just the amount that he eats that has changed. But, you know, there's nothing, like I said before, there's nothing wrong with that. The one thing that I have noticed that has really, really changed is his sleeping patterns. And the um, cranial group that I'm in on Facebook, all the other parents have talked about how during the hospital stay, their schedules are completely messed up due to the um, anesthesia and the recovery period. And, um, and so some had said that they noticed that their baby doesn't sleep during the night or they're up a couple times a night when they used to sleep through the night. And so Harrison has never been um, a baby to actually sleep through the night. He did when he was about six weeks old until 12 weeks, 12, 13 weeks. Um, when I went back to work and then when he got RSV, the fall in that same week, he stopped sleeping through the night and then he started to wake up and want food um, a few times, a few times a night. And so, you know, even to this day, him being eight and a half months old, he's always, he's always um, woken up at least, at least once in the night to eat. And uh, so, you know, that's always been his normal. One thing though that I have noticed that has changed are his naps. And he's always had random naps, but it's just more of the time frame. So like he'll go some days where he'll take an hour nap, other days he'd take two hour naps, and this was prior to surgery. And you know, they were just kind of up and down, but he always took a morning nap, an afternoon nap, and then depending on how tired he was, we would put him down for a nap around five before we'd get him ready for bed, and he'd sleep for about a half hour or so. And so now, since surgery, it's completely changed. There were times that he would sleep for two hours in the morning and then he would have a half hour nap in the afternoon. And then there were days that he wouldn't even take a nap period. 
or if he did take a nap, it would be hours later. And that's how he's been lately. He's been taking naps, but they're not at his normal time that they used to be. They're not at his 10 to 2 o'clock. So, like, for instance, a couple days ago, he took a 20-minute car ride nap and then no nap the rest of the day. And no matter how many times I'd go put him down in his crib and rock him, he wouldn't take a nap. And, you know, it's just a constant fight trying to get him down to take a nap. Um, if I wasn't so adamant on him taking a nap, then I'd probably just, you know, let him go and let him do his thing. But he, he needs his naps. He gets very cranky, he gets very tired and whiny. And so, you know, I'm not gonna say to him, sorry, you're just gonna stay up the rest of the night until we get you ready for bed, until we get you ready for bed. Um, Cause that's not fair to him. And so, um, you know, we've just been dealing with that. It's been making him hard. Last week he teethed and that was also hard to deal with as well just cause he was cranky and he was fussy, you know, and then plus after surgery makes it even harder. Um, but other than that, you know, he's been good. He's been, he's been fine. He's been happy still. He plays, he babbles all the time. His new thing that he's been doing lately is bub ups. So he'll go bub, 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 bub. And it's actually quite cute. And then of course, the next thing that he likes to do is as soon as you get done giving him a bottle, he likes to blow raspberries on you. So, that's been pretty cute, but um, right now I'm just driving down the freeway, heading to, um, down towards my sister's way, and I'm going to stop at Eater's and pick us up some lunch. I've been craving something yummy for the past little while, and last night at 10 o'clock at night I was thinking about how Eater's sounds amazing. buddy. Forgiving your hair? What hair? It got all buzzed off. So I got some of his milk in his sippy cup and we're working on getting him working on that. But something pretty cool just came in and it's right next to me. And I am super excited this is here because it is exclusively for Harrison and you know we all know we're working on his crawling but we also want to give him a way that he can move around the place so he's not just stuck in one little area and I figure the crawling is going to take some time and I've always wanted to get him one of these and so I did because the other day was Amazon Prime Day and it just came in so there's the box I'm gonna get it set up for him good let's go guy wanted to go take a nap but apparently not so since he is awake and most likely not going to sleep for a while figure out we can try out his new toy do you want to go in your new toy Bubba no say yep no 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 <laughs> well it looks like you're a little too high I put you to the highest setting so we're gonna have to put your feet down a little bit Bubba now we get to watch a woman try to fix something. This will be entertaining. <laughs> okay, so that is better. They're supposed to be tippy-toed on the ground. And so we've got it fixed and he is in his new toy. So let's see how he does. Come here, dude. Harrison. My battery is going to die, so I'm gonna charge my battery and we're going to work with him on learning how to use this thing, so see you guys in a bit. I'm back. Let my battery charge just a little bit 
and we had some dinner while it was charging. And Harrison is enjoying his new toy. So while we were eating, this came in. We got Harrison a new car seat. He's got quite a bit of time left before we actually transition him to this. But we figured we might as well get a convertible car seat for him um, while it was on sale. And so that's the one we went with. I'm going to use his infant car seat for as long as possible because I want to get as much use out of it as I can. And it's really nice just leaving him in the car seat and then pulling the car seat off the base and carrying him around places whenever we have to go somewhere instead of constantly pulling him in and out of the car seat. So when that time comes, we'll deal with it. But for now, I'm going to constantly use his portable car seat. I forget about saying goodbye to you because I get so caught up in putting Harrison to bed and getting and getting everything cleaned up for the next day that it just completely blows my mind but like I've said before if my head wasn't attached to my body I'd probably misplace my head too or forget about my head and just you know walk off but anyways it's the end of the day and I'm saying See ya. Going to go get ready for bed and relax for the rest of the night. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time and I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and